point, this is just a quick little intro. Before we get to the video, I actually had technical difficulty. Our audio came out terrible. So I took out all the scenes of me at the park reviewing the houses. Just a quick heads up, this video does contain dark, creepy imagery and sounds. The first part of the video is just video and shots of Scarewinds, the aesthetics, the scare zones, the facades of the mazes. You'll stick around till the end of the video. Then I'll give tips, my thoughts, the reviews of the houses, and all the creepy good stuff. Enjoy. <laughs>
ha, 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 ha. Scare Wins 2018 was amazing. It was our first time visiting Scarewinds, even though we both grew up in Charlotte, North Carolina, going to Carowinds every summer to hang out and totally jam with our friends. We have not been to Carowinds in 20, no, 15, in 15 years-ish. Don't try to guess my age. I'm turning 460 this spring. We both grew up in North Carolina and we went to Carowinds every summer, but have not been to a Scarewinds event. And man, it was amazing. It really, really went over and beyond both of our expectations. Scarewinds was a very pleasant surprise. We are used to going to Halloween Horror Nights in Orlando, Florida. At Scarewinds, there are six mazes, six scare zones, and three Scarewinds specific, specific shows now we didn't get a chance to go see the shows we were there for about five hours from open to close and we're just barely able to make all six houses during the scare ones event most of the rides are open and a ray of roller coasters and carnival rides are there and i didn't think that any of the lines were very long we are used to going through the mazes lines in orlando one after the other single file here at scare ones I loved it. You go in a group around 10 people. That kind of gives you a more one-on-one -on -one experience and makes you feel a little more VIP. It gives you more of a feeling that you're alone in the middle of this set that they drop you in. I think that way you're not really rushed through the house and hopefully the scares are being timed a little bit better that way. And it also gives the scare actors a little break in between. Woo! <laughs> Carowinds, call me. We found out it was opening weekend when we went and we did not find it very scary. Now, to be fair, we are used to going to Universal Studios, Orlando, Florida, Halloween Horror Nights. And that is absolutely an adult entertainment area, adult themed. Whereas We Feel Scare Winds was a lot more family friendly. That does not mean, however, that the houses or mazes were gore and blood free. They were very well done, amazingly decorated. The art, you guys, was incredible. You felt like you were walking through a slaughterhouse, a school, a hospital. Really incredible. But it is gory. There are body parts and blood all over the place. So if you do get a little squeamish, I would suggest staying out of the houses. They do have scare zones that you can walk through and enjoy all the festivities and ambiance of scare winds with lights and fog and they have characters, scare actors dressed as the theme of the scare zones, which is not very scary. Here are my review of the houses. All the mazes are incredibly decorated. They are a lot longer than I expected, which is a good thing. The houses were very fun, very gory, and I feel like they weren't very scary. This could be because it was only the second night there. Everybody's just trying to get in their groove and find their character and really connect with scaring the bejesus out of people. And it felt like you were in the actual places. They did an incredible job. My personally, my favorite two houses, there's a tie, Slaughterhouse and Zombie High School. It felt like you were walking through an actual slaughterhouse and it felt like you were walking through the high school. They were very long and very fun and very awesome houses. I enjoyed the aesthetics of them. Silver Scream Studios was the scariest house to me. I found it to be incredibly scary because it is a very dark house. A lucky few get flashlight. You can use the flashlight while walking through the house. You shine it wherever you want. I kind of really scared myself and psyched myself out because I got a flashlight and I was looking all around and I didn't know where everybody was. I shined the light and then I bumped into something and it was very scary. <laughs> Urgent scare was also very well done. It looked like a hospital or an insane asylum. Lots of blood, lots of body parts. It was fun. Dark Harvest was a very hard entrance to find. Unfortunately, we were not alone in this, but Dark Harvest is like a really long, creepy corn maze and they have two really cool sets. Depths of Darkness. Personally, my least favorite house. It's just my little personal opinion. It was very dark and to me, it probably was because I was so tired by the end of the night. It was the last house that we did. There were a few special effects that they used in Depths of Darkness that I have not seen before. So that was really cool. 
side note, Depths of Darkness and Urgent Scare both have parts of the houses that are challenging to get through. Very tight, very claustrophobic. So if you're scared of tight spaces or if you have an actual physical injury where you can't be in confined spaces, I would really suggest skipping these houses. I am curious if any of those houses you can skip and are wheelchair accessible. If you don't like blood and guts, you can still enjoy this event. The houses are bloody and gory. So if that gives you the heebie-jeebies, I would stay away. But if fog machines and festive lighting are more up your alley, then I would suggest staying in the scare zones. The scare actors in the zones aren't very scary. They're more embracing their character and saying cute little quirky lines to involve you into the set and make you feel a part of that world. The music all throughout the park is pretty incredible and definitely set the mood. And it's not just woo ha 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 ha. <laughs> also, sitting on a bench in a scare zone is always a fun way to spend part of your evening watching others get frightened. Kind of my only complaint about scare winds is that some of the houses were very challenging to find, that the entrances aren't always next to where the signs are, and they have a fast lane sign, which is a red neon spider that kind of lets you know where the entrances are, but the fast lane is not always next to the normal regular admission price ticket lane. It was a little challenging and confusing and we were definitely not alone in this. There were many other people who felt this way as well. Just keep that in mind when you're looking around, but finding a map and looking where the closest ride is to that entrance will help you out. But if you are feeling a little booker, chicka 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 chicka, woo, then you can purchase these things called no woo necklaces. They are purple neon flashing bats. About $10. It informs the staff that you are a scaredy cat and you do not enjoy being scared. Instead of a bat, they should have put a black cat on the necklaces. I think would have been a little more fitting. If you are looking at purchasing a Nobu necklace, stay away from the mazes. Kind of the whole purpose of going to a haunted house is to be scared. It really gets on my nerves. And yes, this happened several times while we were there. Man, one of those scare actors jumps out at me, I'm gonna hit him in the face. First of all, there is no touching the scare actors. <laughs> and secondly, it's the point of a haunted house. It's like, man, if I go to that fast food place and somebody gives me food, I'm gonna hit them in the face. It's insane. The whole point of going into a haunted house is to be frightened. And that could be one of the reasons why the houses were not so scary is because the scare actors are getting ready to jump out from behind the wall and go Wah! but someone's got a no boot necklace on. So you get a lot of <sighs> You're doing a good job. Keep on going there. High five, not being scared in a haunted house. We did notice that about half the crowd was under the age of 18. I think just overall, it's more of a family themed event. And I also think this is because Carowinds and Scarowinds passes are very inexpensive. Now, if you're buying just a single night pass, it can get a little pricey, but if you live in the area, Carowinds passes are, they're a great deal. Carowinds season pass tickets are $100, $105. And that gold pass just happens to include, you get free parking, you get the water park, you get Scarowinds, you get Winterfest tickets, Ding, 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 you're a winner if you get Carowinds tickets. It's amazing. It equals out to about $8.25 a month, which is incredible. And if you are super adventurous, they even have where you can upgrade to where your pass also gets you into all the Cedar Park parks. Carowinds is located off of Interstate 77 on the border of North and South Carolina. Now, what's really cool about Carowinds is that the border of North and South Carolina goes straight through it. You can go and totally nerd out and take a picture with half your body in North Carolina and the other half of your body in South Carolina. It's pretty cool. I grew up in North Carolina and I just realized this year that Kara Wins stands for Carolina Wins because it's both of the Carolinas. <laughs> Here's the genus, folks. Hopefully we'll get a chance to check out their Winterfest event this year as it probably is going to blow my mind. Yeah, Scare Ones is amazing. Two thumbs up. We will be getting season passes and going next year. We were not paid or promoted for our thoughts, feelings, or views. So if you enjoyed this video, it helped you out, or you just want to be a super awesome person and do your amazing deed for today, 
please share the love or share the love oh share the love you gotta share 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 the love now this isn't how we plan to shoot the video if you would please please comment below and let me know if you prefer the video being shot like this or in future videos you would like to see me at the actual event without technical difficulties reviewing the event there while we're in the midst of everything until next time stay where the sun shines unless you're a vampire just be thankful that you're still kind of alive Awesome. Special thanks to Hey Mickey, you so fun, you so fun, you blow my mind. Hey Mickey. Hey Mickey. Thank you. Yeah, but what about these guns? <laughs>